Now we can look at some assert methods for objects. And the first one we'll look at is the property method. And the property method, you give it an object and a property, and it basically checks if that object contains that property or it contains that key. So in this example, I have this object here, person, with name Ivan, age 23, and favorite foods, which is an array good apples and oranges. And I have this key, which is the string nationality right here. And all it basically does is it checks if on that object, the key that you give it is undefined, or the property that you give it is undefined, is not undefined. So the way you do this is on the assert method, you call the property method right here. And the first argument you give it is the object, which is the person. The second argument you give it is the key or property that we're looking for. And the third argument is an error message. So we can just say something like person doesn't contain oops, be, gotta be careful with strings, D uh, does not contain key. So if I run this now, um, we'll see that this returns false because there's no nationality um, property or key in here. So it is undefined, so this will be false. And if it's not undefined, this test will pass, but because it is undefined, this test has failed. Now. If I change this key to something like name, which actually does exist, and I run this, we now know that this will return true because the name key is not undefined. The name key exists in the person. So therefore this test should pass. So if I run this now, it says true and all the tests have passed. By the way, this doesn't have to be just the properties that you declare in the objects. It can also be inherited properties if it's a subclass, for example. Um, I think that's covered in the JavaScript courses earlier. Um, so the opposite method to this is the not property method. And that basically just checks if the um, key is equal to undefined, um, which means that the key or property doesn't exist. And we can say person does contain key as the, as the failure message here. So if I run this now, we can see that this test here returns false because um, key is not undefined and it exists. So this this test fails. Um, if I put it the key to something like nationality again that doesn't exist. So again, this not property checks if the, the um, key of that object is undefined. And the nationality key doesn't exist in this person object. So this is undefined. So this will return true and then this test um, should pass. So if I run this now, uh, we can see that, hang on. Oh, my bad. This should be um, capital P here. Uh, if I run this again, we can see that it's true and all the tests have passed. So let's look at the challenge now. And we have these two, um, I guess, constructor methods. And we have a car constructor, which sets, um, I guess it just creates a car object and it sets the model to sedan, um, engines to one and wheels to two. And then we have a plane constructor, which creates a so-called plane object. And it sets the model field to 737, the engines to an array with left and right, wheels to a number of six and then wings to two. So all the properties that you'd expect in a plane. Then it creates my car, which by calling this constructor. So we have a car object with these keys and values. And then it also creates airline plane, which is a plane object with these keys and values. And we have to make um, each of these tests pass by giving these values to either property or not property. So in the first one, we have the object, which is my car here. And we have a key or property of wings that we're looking for. And if we look at the car constructor, we can see that um, there's no wings field being created or set here. And also gives you a hint saying the car doesn't have wings. So we know that it doesn't have the property. So we should give it to not property method here for a pass. The second one, we have the airline plane, which is this right here. And it checks if there's an engine's key or property there. And if we look at the um, plane constructor that's used here, we can see that it creates a wheels uh, field and sets the um, value to six right here. So we know that um, this airline plane does have this wheels property. So we should give this to um, the property method for a pass. Finally, we have um, my car again, and it's the key or property we're looking for is wheels. And when we use the car constructor, we can see that the wheels property gets created here and assigned. So 
we know that this my car does have a wheels key or property or field so we know that uh, we should give this to the property method for it to pass so if we save that now um, and go ahead and copy the live app link and paste it in uh, we can see that yeah that's worked so that's completed this challenge